Recently, I decided to go for I Am Bread's Platinum Trophy, which was much harder than I was expecting, due to the game having buggy controls and just flat out brutal level design. The game has a 9 out of 10 difficulty and can range from anywhere from 30 to 100 hours. The first level on its own, due to being new to the game, took me over an hour because it's just that hard, but within the first few minutes I got my first trophy by knocking over some salt. Now I should tell you how this game works. To move around, you use the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons. The R buttons control one half of the piece of bread, while the L buttons control the other half. At first, I just couldn't figure out how to control it, but after a while, I did get used to the controls. Now we get to the game design. And that being you have a limited amount of time to grip onto things or you fall, and you need to avoid touching the floor or bugs because that takes away to the L ability meter or you die, so you have to be careful. And speaking of dying, I also got another trophy for dying for the first time. Oh, you die from eating that. And I got a trophy for dying. Cool. Also, at the end of each level, the goal is to toast yourself, which is much easier said than done. Look at this. A toaster, but it can't make toast. Okay, so let's kind of like angle ourselves, okay? Um. Oh! Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, bro. How does this game expect me to do this? This is literally impossible. Yeah, I wasn't really that good either. I did eventually get inside, but it took so many attempts. But trust me when I say, it gets much harder. As later, you don't toast yourself using a toaster. But when I got inside, I got two trophies. One for beating the level with 1% at ability, and one for covering myself with butter before I toasted myself, which you can do at the beginning of the level. We did hit the walking bread. Now we move on to the next level where we appear in a living room. I won't talk about all of them, just the ones where I got more trophies. In here, I accidentally got one for blowing up a TV and cooking myself using it. Okay, now we can kind of just settle down right here. I don't know if knocking that down does anything for like a trophy or not, but. Whoa, TV dinner, okay. But we don't actually move on to the next level because I missed the TV going down and died. But for a retry, I found a canned item that made me invincible, which is kind of cool. It makes an automatic E rank, which is bad because for the platinum, we need all A++ ones, but we will work on that later. But beating the level with it gives us our next trophy. Before we move on, I'm sure you're wondering what the story is on this game, so for a brief explanation, a guy is going to therapy because he claims that a bread came to life and people think he's crazy, and by the way he's not, but more on that later. For the next trophy, we jump to level 4 in the bathroom for going next to the bathtub and turning on a hair dryer and cooking ourselves with it. Oh shoot, Ryan Dry, cool. For the next trophy I got, I got him at level 6, but before I say it, I encountered a funny glitch. This level I was struggling on super bad, and the way I died is I glitched through the bottom of this flower pot, and instead of restarting the level, I spawned in the next level, which really confused me at first, because I had absolutely no idea where I was. What? Why am I over here? Yeah, I was super confused, but anyways, at the end of the level, I had to grab a lighter and put it in the grill. At first, I thought that the trophy was for lighting the grill, but it was actually for burning myself with two things in one level, that being the lighter and the grill, thus giving me my next trophy. Let's go! Next up is level 7, the final level of this game before the epilogue, and this level is pretty wild. To get around this level, you have to pour gasoline all over the floor at this gas station, then grab a lighter and blow up the entire place on your quest to become toast. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And at the end, I got a trophy, which at first I thought was for blowing the place up, but it's actually for staying airborne for 5 seconds. Up the freaking gas station. What? The Bread Baron. Nice. 
Now it's time for the epilogue, where this game gets very interesting. We wake up in a trunk and have to get out, which is so hard I can't even tell you how many attempts this took. And I say attempt out, because we're moving super fast, so one wrong move and we'll fly out. But anyways, we climb into the car and straight up kill this man, which is wild. Now I know what you're all thinking, you were probably expecting a trophy from that, but you actually get the story mode trophy after blowing up the gas station, which for some reason didn't pop up on my screen, it actually... Uh, just didn't pop up at all, but that's where we ended up getting that trophy. Now that we beat the base game, it's time for the extra game modes, and we start off with the bagel race. Here, instead of climbing around with the buttons, you roll around and don't need to click any at all. Instead of a truly punishing mode, we get a nice, easy, and super fun one. In fact, I didn't really struggle on the first level and got an A++ rank within the first 10 minutes, giving me another trophy. 25 seconds. Oh, the best round! Is that A++? A++! We got another silver trophy, let's go! Along with the first bagel level, I got another trophy for grabbing on a firework. Bagel Space Program. What does this do? But I might have been too cocky, because after that, I decided to get all A++ ranks for the bagel races, and the next level was absolutely brutal. I spent over an hour trying to get the rank, and it really started getting on my nerves, even to the point where I was reacting like this. No! No! Get up! Get up! Yeah, I was getting pretty mad. The things that made this level so hard was you had to make pretty tough jumps from platforms, and if you angle it wrong, you could ruin the entire run. Also, you had to make super sharp but precise turns. If it wasn't perfect either, I would hit something or get thrown off course, causing me to fail. The things that made that hard is to get the A++, you have to go super fast and beat it in a set amount of time, which was easier said than done. It took me a while, but this was my best attempt. Also, headphone users, be warned, I was pretty loud. Oh my gosh! Dude, is that it? Oh crap, I just got my inter controller. Yes! Finally, bro! Holy crap! Yeah, it started getting kind of crazy, but remember when I said you didn't have to climb at all? Well, I lied, because the next level requires climbing. This is, in my opinion, the hardest level to get an A++ in for the bagel, and it took me about two hours. I won't talk more, just look at this absolutely booty balls of a level. Great. I missed it. That's like a B still. <gasps> oh my gosh! We did it, bro. My reaction wasn't too crazy because at this point it was like 1 in the morning and I was super tired. The other levels were more intense, but because I got used to the controls, I actually found them to be much easier. I will only show the last level, however, because that's when I got two more trophies. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Whoa. This is kind of an insane level, to be honest. No. Dang it. Dang it, bruv. Well, at least you got the trophy for beating it, but... I'm oh, shoot! We still got an A++! We still did it! I thought I sold at the end, but we did it. 
Yes, all the A++ is for the bagel levels. Let's go. Now that all the bagel levels are done, now we move on to the rampage levels. And here you place this long piece of bread and have to smash as many objects as possible to bring your pointer counter up. And the more you destroy, the higher a multiplier meter goes to make all the objects worth even more points. But the most annoying part is the fact that to get the A++, you have to pretty much not lose it the entire level just so that you can barely get enough points for the A++. And to make it worse, every object was far away and the controls were absolutely balls. So all this made this level super brutal. After about an hour, I finally got the A++ and got a trophy for getting my first one on the rampage mode. Let's go! We finally got a freaking A++ rank, man. This sucks. Yeah, honestly, I couldn't say I was a fan, but the next level absolutely broke me. I spent three whole hours trying to get this A++ and saw no progress. It was around 2am and I was devastated just trying to get this level's A++. I was drained and saw no way of getting the platinum. It was pissing me off so badly I put a hole in my wall. No joke, here's the picture. I turned off the game and took a break for a day as I was grinding this game out and was just ruined. After coming back from a break, instead of going for all the A++, I decided to just clear out all the levels to get me a quick trophy. But before going for the A++, I decided to get every miscellaneous trophy, starting out with the buggy one in this game, and that's to stand upright while riding on a skateboard. So how is this buggy? Well, it's buggy because for people it is said to sometimes pop up immediately, and for others no matter what they did, it either took an hour to pop up, or it just never did. But for me, it only took about 10 minutes. There we go. Finally, man. The next one I went for, I somehow got 3 in 1. The one I was going for was the same as the third trophy I got in the game, but this time instead of beating the level covered in butter, I had to be covered in jelly, but the other trophies I got with it was beating the level with 100% at ability and getting an A++ rank in story mode. Oh shoot, we even got an A++. A++, for cool story though. Fresh Slice, for doing it without getting 100% tangerty, and you jelly. The next trophy I went for was for going into the garage and turning on the lawnmower. Oh, there we did, we did it. The next one was for going into the garden, getting into the guy's car and turning it on. But this one was super annoying because you had to very carefully swing onto the car keys and twist it, but I got it done. There we go, we did it. Perfect. For the next one, I had to go back into the garage and turn on the chainsaw. There we go, groovy. For the next trophy, I had to go into the gas station and climb to the top of the garbage truck which you actually spawn in. The Shadow of the Colossus. Now that all the miscellaneous trophies were done, I decided to go and attempt the A++ Rampage levels again, and it was super easy now thanks to a glitch. Yes, I looked around and found an easy strategy that would make this level much easier. And we'll actually use this glitch a lot for the story mode and this mode levels. Now I would like to show you me getting this A++, but I forgot to record myself doing it. <clears throat> But the thing you see on screen is the glitch, so as you can see, you basically grab onto an object and it can make you fly. With the glitch, it made a lot of the levels a lot easier, but there were still some that the glitch was non-existent, so it made for some of the hardest ones I had to go for. So of course, I can't show you all of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the last one because this one was honestly one of the more difficult ones as well. Finally, bruh. 
Let's go! I can't yell right now because my family's asleep. We finally did it. Now that I was done with those levels, I went to go do the story mode levels. And like the Rampage ones, the levels were super, super hard. But thanks to a glitch, it made it much easier. But unfortunately, there were still some that even with the glitch, it was still super hard. I won't show the last level as it was actually pretty easy. But this level I will show is by far one of the hardest A++ I went for on all the modes I did so far. Actually, I also lied to you guys earlier, the whole, um, hole in the wall thing actually is from the level I'm about to show you, not the Rampage one. And this is also the one that actually took me three hours, so, uh, I got them mixed up. What the? Okay. Yes, bro. We did it, man. Thank you, God, bro. God help me. Yeah, I was so drained in the moment that I didn't even have the energy to react well, but eventually I did get all the other A++, thus giving me my next trophy. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! We're a contour! We're finally done, man! But then, issues began. I was going for the A++ ranks for the Zero Gravity mode, but for some reason the audio for the game's music was horrible. I won't play it because it's so bad, but I did get my next trophy for my first A++ here. I won't talk about the Zero Gravity mode much, because it's just the story mode except it has no gravity, and there wasn't much hard stuff in it either, and I was just blasting through the A++'s super quickly. And eventually I got a trophy for using less than 100% fuel power, which is a factor that plays into getting every A++ rank. Yes! Alright, sorry I forgot to readjust my mic, but look at that, we also got fuel efficient- As I said, I was blasting through the levels easily, but then I got to my first hard level, and probably the hardest level to A++ so far, that being the last level. The thing that makes this level so hard is the movement has to be absolutely perfect, and you have to use almost no fuel but go so extremely fast it leaves you with no room for air. And you have to grab a lighter which throws off the already bad controls to begin with, and as I was trying to get it, I did still get a trophy for beating every level in this mode. It was but I see at least we still got that I was starting to get miserable from the game so I took a break and came back the next day and after about an hour of returning this was my best attempt
Okay. Oh, dude, this would be good. If it explodes quickly. Six, seven. Okay, shoot. This could be good. 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 Please, man. Yes! Yes! Finally! Now that everything is done, we get into the hardest part of the entire game. And that is the thing that nearly made me give up and play Crash Bandicoot instead. Now I'm not kidding, you guys don't know this, but I uploaded a giving up version of this video, but deleted it simply because of this. We play the cheese hunt mode, and it's like the bread mode, except we have to find 5 pieces of cheese and collect them. What makes it so extremely hard is 1, you break very easily as you can see by the integrity meter and you have to go super fast with no errors in a single level. The first level took me hours to get through and just made me give up for so long and it's the easiest part of this mode and just simply couldn't get the A++ in the level after so long. But I wanted to get more familiar with this mode and decided to get through every level which gave me another trophy. Oh, nearly there, brilliant. As you can tell from that clip, I sounded pretty dead inside, but after getting through the levels, I found a level that wasn't really too hard, so I decided to attempt its A++ and got it after about 20 minutes. A++! Dude, yes, a wedge between us. I started getting super comfortable with the controls and all, so I attempted the hardest miscellaneous trophy in the game, and that's to beat a level with 100% integrity. And I was shocked to see myself get it in only one hour on the dot, and it honestly wasn't that rage inducing. I just needed to be slow and steady. Yes! Bun breakable, dude. I fetch and hate this trophy, man. Finally, dude. That took, that took almost like, I don't know, 30 something. 40 minutes, probably. And now we get into the hard part. Most of the A++'s were simple because I was more familiar with the game and flew through another four A++'s, but there were two in general that made me hate life. But I'm only going to show the hardest one ever, and prove it's the hardest part of the plot is the guide said welcome to hell on this level. And remember that hole in the wall? Well, this level made me make it deeper. Also, I don't know why, but uh, during me getting this, the music on my game just straight up wasn't working, so you're only going to hear my controller and me breathing. Yes! That's it! That's the platinum! Oh my gosh! We did it! Holy crap! We got the freaking platinum! After two hours today and seven hours yesterday,
In total, I probably poured in 10 hours into this freaking level. I'm sure I explained this already in the video uh, when I edited it. This platinum, that level right there took me 10 hours. I literally have 10 hours of footage of me playing that level. Yeah, I was super excited. Man, was this the hardest platinum I have ever gotten and seriously took forever. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as this was not an easy or quick video to make. Also, thanks to you all as I hit 100 subscribers, so thank you. If you want to see another hard platinum video, you can click on the card on screen.